The story of young Kamala rode a donkey from Tijuana Met a man, Willie Brown, deep in the bowels of California Nice to meet you, nice to know you Would you like fries with your order? Come a bit closer I got something I wanna show you This is my spatula This is my apron My name is Kamala You know what I'm saying Cat, cat, cat I love the pilots in the back Golden arch I'm a wreck Oh, Willie, you made a mess Team fries are done What's up, guys? Your boy Benny. We have a lot of sources deep in the Trump campaign. Sounds more mysterious than it actually is. We actually have just friends who work on the campaign, homies that we've known for like a long time, and they give us stuff on occasion, and we're able to get some inside information. All right, the inside story scoop. And there's sometimes some videos, snapshots of what's really going on behind the scenes. And we deliver that information to you as best as we can. I have an important photo of the end of Donald Trump's shift at McDonald's yesterday that I am sharing with you exclusively here, sent to us by the, the most inside of all sources, ladies and gentlemen. Here it is. This is President Trump leaving his shift, working the deep fryer at the Golden Arches yesterday. An iconic moment in American history. Truly, truly something that we can all celebrate. <laughs> Man, the memes of Donald Trump working at McDonald's are incredible and are take, taking over the internet. Mick triggered. <laughs> Libs are losing their minds over this, and they're only losing their minds over Donald Trump working at McDonald's because it was effective. This does, this looks like a meme. Listen, just Days ago, I would have used AI. Our graphic design team here, which is exceptional, and I would argue the best on the internet, uh, would have used AI to create this image. It looks like an AI image. It's beautiful. I hope somebody does a painting of this, and I'll hang it up in my living room. But this isn't a Norman Rockwell painting. This is a real photo of President Trump working the window drive through at McDonald's after making the fries. Libs, though, are seething because they said that McDonald's had to be shut down. In order to protect President Trump, you can't just have a tweaker or a junkie. I mean, this is Philadelphia, after all. Walking in, the guys had two assassination attempts. But President Trump worked the friars nonetheless. Trump's visit to McDonald's was staged, to say the people who, who did this. <laughs> they literally built Joe Biden a Fisher-Price White House. And they, they, they're screaming about it being staged. MSNBC doing full-on fits about President Trump. Uh, criticizing and demeaning hourly workers. This is what the elites think of everyday people who do everyday jobs. Seething and hissing about this. And the only reason why is because they know they know that Trump won. They know this is the moment Trump won. They know that this is what people want. This is what Project 2025 will bring to, this is what every single McDonald's window will look like under Project 2025. I thought the attacks on Trump at Mickey D's was a joke, but no, Kamala supporters are actually attacking Trump over this. Crazy, crazy. McDonald's can't stop winning though. If libs were triggered over the fact that President Trump worked at McDonald's and staged what is the single greatest uh, and most influential camp planned campaign event of the election season, I would obviously say the most influential a moment was President Trump's uh, assassination attempt survival and immediate reaction. But the most planned moment was President Trump working at McDonald's. Well, ladies and gentlemen, they're going to be very triggered over what McDonald's just did. Oh, man, here we go. McDonald's can't confirm Kamala Harris worked at Burger Joint. <laughs> but company is proud to hear of her fond memories. <laughs> All right, so here we go. McDonald's put out a message to all of their franchises and franchisees. And that message posted here has been shared widely across the internet. McDonald's stated it has no record of Kamala Harris ever working at the company. <laughs> oh, man. Take note, this is how you draft a statement. McDonald's remains undefeated. Let's read, ladies and gentlemen. McDonald's USA. Earlier today, former President Trump 
visited a McDonald's following a request made to our local franchisee. As we've seen, our brand has been a fixture of the conversation this election cycle. We haven't sought it, but it's a testament to how McDonald's resonates with so many Americans. McDonald's does not endorse candidates for elected office, and that remains true in this race. We are not red or blue, we're golden. This, this, is, greatly, this is a beautifully written uh, press release, by the way. Though we are not political brand, We've been proud to hear former President Trump's love of McDonald's and Vice President Harris's fond memories. <laughs> While we and our franchisees don't have any records for her position dating back to the 80s, which I guess might be legitimate, right? May be legitimate. I know I called up a buddy who owns a bunch of McDonald's franchises here in Tampa. Tampa's a, you know, kind of a small, big city, right? You get to rub shoulders with people. And I know this homie who owns a bunch of McDonald's, and he says, absolutely, there are photocopied records of employment histories back to the 80s, back to the 90s and the 80s. The reason why is because the IRS may call upon them at any time. And if you're working for a massive company like McDonald's, you got to keep them. Now, that's not, that's just one, fr McDonald's has franchises. So that's the way one owner decides to do business. Fr franchises change hands, they close, they reopen. You you may not know. You'd have to go to the exact location with Kamala Harris. Just taking it aside here. You'd have to go to the location Kamala Harris declared that she worked at, which is in Montreal, I think, and you'd have to ask there in Montreal. You'd have to find out. So you see, nobody's ever gone to Kamala Harris and said, which location? Give us the address. Where did you work? What timeline? Nobody's ever done that. But, but but McDonald's, sure as hell, is saying, yeah, we think that this story is total bull. Okay, here we go. Back to the statement. When owner-operator Derek Gia Camantino was approached by local law enforcement regarding former President Trump's desire to visit a Pennsylvania restaurant, he was proud to highlight how he and his team serve their local community and make delicious food and world-famous French fries. Upon learning of President Trump's request, we approached it through the lens of our core values. We open our doors to everyone. It's that same approach that franchisees have invited Kamala Harris and Governor Waltz to their restaurants in order to share how McDonald's has provided meaningful pathways to economic opportunities. Yet they haven't accepted the invitation. Have you seen Kamala Harris doing the fries? Have you seen Tim Waltz? I don't know what the hell he'd be doing in the bathroom somewhere, right? Uh, under the hand, hand dryer, spr sprinkling and waving his hands everywhere. I don't know. What a freak that guy. What a lunatic. This election season nears its completion. Our res it's the resources we've shared in recent months will be especially important for franchisees and restaurant teams and suppliers. Please continue to reference our election toolkits. Blah, 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 blah. The strength of our brand always comes out of the people. McDonald's uh, resonance and relevance is stronger than ever. This has been hard earned by the efforts of our collective belief and power. And the three-legged stool, thank you for everything, the brand, serving customers and communities, great pride, upholding our core values, opening doors for all. There we go. McDonald's released an internal statement. It knows that Kamala Harris has fond memories working there, but they have no record of her working there. <laughs> this internal statement from McDonald's system uh, from the U.S. senior leadership team regarding today's visit by the Trump campaign. The statement outlines the origins of the event, the company's response, and an invitation to Kamala Harris to do this. Remember, the reason why we're doing this is Kamala Harris lied about working at McDonald's. Here's here's a clip of Kamala Harris lying about working at McDonald's. This is not how people talk. I did the fries. That's not how people talk who do these jobs. I busted my ass for years as a waiter in a dump at a restaurant in my college town, Iowa City, Iowa. Of course I know the name of the restaurant. Of course I know, I, I can remember it vividly. Going home at 2 a.m., working doubles. It's excruciating work. It's hard work. And it's it, like, it that the, this, these jobs deserve dignity and deserve people like not making fun of them or you are or, or profiting politically off the backs of the people who do them, which is what Kamala Harris did. Which is what Kamala Harris did. Here's Kamala Harris claiming to work at McDonald's with no evidence. I worked in McDonald's. I was a student when I was working at McDonald's. There was not a family relying on me to pay the rent, put food on the table, 
and keep the bills paid by the end of the month. But the reality of McDonald's is that a majority of the folks who are working there today are relying on that income to sustain a household and a family. Exactly. And if we want to talk about these golden arches being a symbol of the best of America, well, the arches are falling short. Yes. And we have got to recognize that working people deserve livable wages. Working people deserve in these places to know that there will be a safe working environment, which means free from any physical harm, including sexual assault or abuse or harassment. No, man. You can tell she's lying. You can tell she's lying there. Ladies and gentlemen, Donald Trump with the political masterstroke. Trump fans, I'm loving it. The memes are so good. Oh, man. We're going to win. We're going to win. It's going to be great. It's your boy, Benny. Like, share, and subscribe. See ya.